Goodbye, drum. Bye bye, drum. And the drum simply disappeared. All gone. For tubby bye bye, time for tubby bye bye, time for tubby bye bye. No, 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 no. Bye bye, Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Po. Tinky Winky. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dipsy. Bye bye. Bye bye, Lala. Bye bye. Bye bye, Po. Bye bye. The sun is setting in the sky. Teletubbies, say goodbye.
makes the day dedicated to making other people mad and getting away with it. I didn't even know April Fools they existed, but then today at school some little kiddos were playing tricks on each other and I kind of just caught on. Actually, today Judy was like, Fred, will you go out with me? And I was like, oh my god, yes! But unfortunately she said April Fools Day after that, so um, I was kind of embarrassed a little. <laughs> okay, well because Judy did that, obviously Kevin was involved, so I'm gonna get back at both of them and do April Fools jokes on them. The jokes are gonna be pretty intense, and I bet you when I'm done, Judy and Kevin will regret ever playing a trick on me. Okay, well let's get this ball rolling. <laughs> So first of all, we're gonna prank Kevin, and the cat with the rabies is gonna be involved! Okay, well Kevin's on his porch being a fatty like usual, so I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> hey, Kevin! Um, <laughs> why are you laughing so weird, Fred? Because I'm gonna throw the cat with rabies on you! Huh? Now I have face. rabies again, you <laughs> idiot! April Fools, but, but you still have rabies! <laughs> Um, this is kind of weird to say, but I think I went just a tad bit overboard with the whole Kevin thing because I got him rabies again. <laughs> well, the first time the cat with rabies gave him rabies, his mom got all mad at my mom and they were fighting and quarreling, weirdly, you know, but... So I'm kind of scared what they're gonna do to each other this time, because it's the second time. You know what? Whatever! Kevin deserves that! He's a little scumbag! Um, well, actually, I shouldn't call him a little scumbag because he's quite big, so a big scumbag. <laughs> okay, well, now it's time to prank Judy! <laughs> Um, Fred, why are you here? Hey, Judy. Um, well, what I'm here to tell you is quite, it's quite hard to say because it's very sad. Don't get me wrong, it's very sad news. Um, oh my gosh, what is it? Well, what it is, is <laughs> your dog died. That golden retriever of yours. <gasps> no, <yet>. no! <laughs> you got ran over, I just saw it. Is he dead? <laughs> A big semi came and ran him over. <laughs> and now his body parts are spread everywhere. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. Really? April Fool's Day, haha, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> oh my gosh, Fred, you're such a jerk! Um, I don't really know what to say because I think I went a little bit overboard on Judy's joke, too. She was crying because she was so, so scared that her dog died, and I don't know, I just think I brought it up one notch too far, you know? But whatever, it's April Fool's Day, for gosh darn sake. What, what is that? Oh my gosh, what are these things? What are they there, too? <laughs> your mom. I got you April Fool's Day. Mom, why'd you do that? That was so mean. Well, Fred, Judy and Kevin's parents called me. That was not good what you did. Yeah, I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have done it. Uh, well, at least I learned that maybe next year I shouldn't take the April Fool's joke so far. Okay, well, peace out. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been so I'm trying to sleep. Oh, um, well, the reason why I came in here is because I think I have a cold sore. <gasps> you better not have a cold sore, Fred, because that is a form of herpes. Herpes? What? I better not have herpes, Mom. God. Calm down, Fred. It's probably just a regular cold sore. And anyways, anyone who has a little fun in their life is going to have herpes by the age of 30. Okay, Mom. <laughs> I'm sorry I just overreacted. Thank God I do not have herpes. That would be horrible. And besides, how would I even have them? Because don't you have to, like, kiss someone or something? And obviously, I haven't done that yet because I'm saving it for Judy. Going through the mail. Throw out the power bills. Throw out the water bills. My dad sent me a letter. Oh, my God. My dad's in prison and I've never seen him in my life. And he never writes letters to me. But now he did. Oh, jeez. This is so exciting. I have never talked to my dad before. So this is a big milestone in our relationship. And I'm sure... He'll come over to the house once he gets out of prison and we'll go bowling and play football and him and my mom will get back together and we'll just be one big happy Figglehorn family! Oh, I can't wait! Okay, let's see what he has to say. Dear Fred, Hi son, this is your dad, Fred. I'm sorry for not talking to you your whole life, but I'm going to make a change and start sending letters to you. I love you, Dad. Oh, I have been guarded. This is so cool. He said he loved me. My mom never says she loves me, so at least I'll have one parent who does. I'm just going to keep on reading this letter over and over. I cannot believe my dad wrote me. Wait, did I miss something? P.S. Haha, ha, this is Kevin, stupid. I can't believe you fell for that, big horn. Wow. Kevin! Ah, stupid Kevin! I'm gonna rip off his letter. 